Welcome back to the lab everyone. In this video I'll be making magnesium nitride from magnesium metal and nitrogen gas. I'll use 2.76 grams of ammonium chloride, 3.56 grams of sodium nitrite, and about 0.5 grams of magnesium. I first added the ammonium chloride and sodium nitrite to a flask, along with around 100 milliliters of water. The mixture was stirred until everything dissolved. On top of the flask, I attached a calcium chloride drying tube, which was connected to a fused quartz glass tube. In the middle, I placed magnesium chips, although magnesium powder would be much better. This led to a second drying tube, and finally to a flask of water to monitor gas generation. When I was ready, I turned on heat to the flask. Nitrogen was slowly produced and eventually reached a good rate. I let the apparatus purge for around 10 minutes to remove any oxygen. After this, I lit my Bunsen burner and began to heat the magnesium. It started to take on a black color. A dark film then slowly spread over the glass. I lit a second torch to get the magnesium very hot. After 10 minutes, I turned off heating and let the tube cool under a flow of nitrogen. Some interesting patterns formed on the glass. I was able to dislodge the chips with the aid of a stirring rod. The pieces are black and green, but have white patches of magnesium oxide. There also appears to be magnesium metal underneath. Magnesium powder would have worked much better. I held a wet pH paper over the pieces as I added water. Magnesium nitride makes ammonia with water, and the pH paper would detect any. Bubbling and a blue-green color indicated ammonia. Also noticed the milky color of the water from the magnesium hydroxide. Something interesting was observed when I tried to clean my tube with hydrochloric acid. I didn't expect it. Listen to this. I think the red-hot magnesium made magnesium silicide with the glass, which reacted with acid to make silane. My quartz tube was permanently damaged. <laughs> 